It's a question that's become more common for Canada's largest emitters. What's your carbon footprint? At the nation's largest oil refinery, officials claim a new initiative will cut into those greenhouse gas emissions, striking a deal to receive carbon negative renewable natural gas. It's a product that is really indistinguishable from conventional natural gas. It's the same molecule and therefore can be used in all of the same ways. Under the agreement, company Energia will supply Irving Oil 300 million cubic feet of RNG. The product will come by pipeline from a Rhode Island facility where food waste is transformed to fuel. We take this food waste, 100,000 tons of it, put it through a process, the main component of which is anaerobic digestion, and it, it decomposes into a renewable natural gas. According to Benedict, 45% of warming in the atmosphere comes from methane that escapes. He adds the company hopes to build more plants to keep food out of landfills. So overall, this is the lowest hanging fruit for making renewable fuels, which are critical in the fight against climate change. Data from 2020 shows the refinery had emissions of over 2.9 million tons of carbon dioxide. They have committed to slashing their emissions 30% by 2030, but just what impact this initiative will have on that goal remains to be seen. Again, what I would say is it's, a, it's, it's material and one that we uh, plan to scale up in a significant way uh, in the coming years. Carson adds they expect the first shipment this summer. Robert Lothian, Global News, St. John.